So this field that we're standing on, so this will house which sports? Boys and girls softball, uh, sorry, boys and girls soccer, uh, boys and girls lacrosse, and field track. And what's the seating capacity here? A thousand people. How long ago did you first put the shovel in the ground? Do you know? It was la um, early last spring. Okay. Right around March was some of when the uh, ground was uh, not frozen anymore. And when do you expect everything to be completely finished? Well, we have another meeting tomorrow to update us with the dates. Uh, but we do expect to have the turf field available for our first girls' soccer scrimmage on August 26th, and then we'll go from there with all the surrounding items. Uh, softball we're hoping to be on in the spring, and baseball will probably have to hold off another season because of the grass just being um, planted. Will you be able to host like District 3 events or playoffs or anything like that? Do you hope to do that now with this new upgrade or anything like that? Uh, that um, it's in our final decision, but we do. Um, I do have an email into District 3 just to say that we do have a turf field now and to discuss if there's any possibilities. And well, if you, most postseasons, um, their contests are on turf, so we are going to have that you know, um, advantage of always practicing on it instead of having to maybe go to another facility postseason and practice on their fields. We'll have it right here. Uh, with the lights around the turf, we'll be able to have evening practices and really utilize the field as best as we can. Uh, everyone is, is very excited, and I, among all the other community members and coaches and athletes, you see everybody driving up um, at the top of the hill here and overlooking as they've been um, putting the turf field down. So people have been walking around and, and driving by, and it's exciting.